welcome to the morning stretch. I feel like it's been such a long time since I've seen you, so thank you very much for tuning in to join me for some stories. Did you know that January is soup month? I love soup. I hope you love it too. And I have some fun books I want to share with you about soup. Let's start with A Soup Opera by Jim McGill, illustrated by David Moose. This book is from... This book is from Jim Gill Books. We do not own the rights to this book, but we do own the rights to fun, and I hope you'll have fun reading it with me. So, this is a soup opera, and you guys have to help me with this book. There's a part that repeats, and it's, the repeating part is, I can't eat this soup. So I hope you will sing with me, I can't eat this soup. You can sing it as opera, I can't eat this soup. You can sing it as silly, I can't eat this soup. Or you can just say, I can't eat the soup. Let's read about the soup opera. What, you may ask, you may ask, is a soup opera? What is an opera? An opera is a drama. And this drama is about a man and a bowl of soup. A drama except the music is an opera. And because we're talking about soup and singing, it's a soup opera. Ha! So, <clears throat> let's read a soup opera by Jim, Jim Gill. A man walked into one of the finest restaurants in the city and was seated at the very best table. Soon, a waiter appeared with a menu. I don't need a menu, the man said. Just tell me, what kind of soup are you serving today? The waiter smiled and said, the chef's specialty, sir, onion soup. Mmm, onion soup sounds delicious, said the man. I'll take a bowl. The waiter promptly returned with a big bowl of the onion soup. He set the bowl down in front of the man. He turned and began to walk away, but was stopped. Excuse me, said the man. The waiter lifted his arms and saying, what seems to be the problem here? The man replied, help me out. I can't eat the soup. What did you say? I can't eat the soup. The waiter scratched his head, thought for a moment, and said, I'll have to get the chef. The chef hurried in with a ladle and sang, what well, seems to be the problem here? And the man said, I can't eat the soup. What did you say? I can't eat the soup. The chef slept the ladle on her palm, thought for a moment and said, I'll have to get a policeman. A policeman strolled in wearing a big badge. She's saying, what seems to be the problem here? I can't eat the soup. What did you say? The policeman stroked his chin, thought for a moment, and said, I'll have to get the mayor. The mayor stomped in and waved his big pen in the air as he sang, What seems to be the problem here? I can't eat the soup. What did you say? I can't eat the soup. The mayor thought for a moment pointed a finger in the air and said, I'll have to get the president. And then the president of the United States walked in. <coughs> bing, 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 bing. The president sang, what seems to be the problem here? I can't eat the soup. What did you say? Stop singing and simply asks, Why can't you eat the soup, sir? He replied, Because I have no spoon. <laughs> and that is the end of the story. Our soup opera by Jim McGill, illustrated by David Moose. 
I hope you had as much fun singing and reading it with me. Thank you for watching this morning stretch.